Hi there. Today I want to show you a small items to gold plate this particular item and activate, this is nickel plated by the way, activate in a little beaker, in a little tank. I've got two rectifiers, one only for the, I used the little one on the right hand side there, you can see there, for this particular um, activation process. This is activator. Um, you can see it's bubbling along. I'll, I'll leave it in there for about 30, 45 seconds roughly. You can see it's bubbling along quite well. When I take it out, rinse it in three different beakers of deionized water, of course, and to make sure everything has come off 100%. This is why I use three, not two, not one. You can use one, but you will eventually, you must change the water quite often. So. I take it out and on the end I do also the test if it's the activation. You can see the activation anyway. If you, I, I spray water over now again, which normally I don't do, just to see if there's a water break or not. Of course you can see it with a water break, but as maybe I explain this in a different video. Um, with a water break and what water break. You can see then the activation. This is already, it comes out of the factory, this item. There's a bunch of parts. There are 24 of them. Uh, already nickel plated, so I only uh, it's clean anyway. So I only need to activate basically. You can see our gold plate is this. I don't put a lot of gold on there in this case. Um, I played with about four and a half volts, which are normally most of the time I use four and a half volt um, for brush plating, and also the activation was about four volt. Yeah. With the other rectifier so normally when i played one item i put another one in so there's normally another one already in there so when this one is plated because there are 24 there are 24 washers 24 screws 24 bolts and other stuff as well <laughs> around the bunch of and the big frame uh, part, thing part and okay now it's roughly done. I, I only sh played this a little bit quicker than I would normally do. Um, just for this video. Um, now I, I try it very well, make sure it's 100% dry. Because I do know the test, the, basically the, the tape test. This is, the, this is basically the only test, the only easy test what you can make to uh, find out, but the item must be 100% dry, otherwise it doesn't stick on there. So take a clear tape, I'll show you this in a minute, and this one is a 3M by the way, which is high quality stuff anyway. 3M, or the good sticking tape, and it sticks quite well I must say. If it doesn't stick well, then there's no point to use a tape, so look, look. I put it on there, make sure it's proper on there, and then I'll, I'll rip it off, you can hear it now in a minute. You can see it's quite, there's nothing on there at all. If there's anything on there, the activation was rubbish. So it, if it comes off, of course, adhesion is rubbish. So the activation is wrong. Or cleaning, maybe there was something with cleaning. But this, in this case, the activation and the cleaning, also this also cleans a little bit. This stuff is, is quite good. So thanks for watching. In this case, yeah, I'm finished now. And I put all the details down here now. Um, please subscribe, and you can see more videos in the future. I don't know when. Once a week at least, I put one video up on YouTube. Thank you. Bye.